the best project managers do what? In this week's engineering management lessons video, I have with me Mike Lozanoff. Mike is an engineer by background, but he recently started Lozanoff Consulting Services and he now helps engineering companies develop the best project managers. So Mike, the best project managers do what? This video is brought to you by Collier's Engineering and Design. Collier's Engineering and Design provides multidiscipline engineering architecture, design, and consulting services to public and private clients. Their comprehensive suite of services offers everything from civil site development to transportation and energy through a nationwide network of offices. Collier's Engineering and Design values their employees and takes pride in their culture. With a focus on professional development and a family atmosphere, some of their offerings are a comprehensive mentorship program, a hybrid work environment, and competitive benefit packages. For more information about how you can join their team, find them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, or visit their website at colliersengineering.com. I think what those folks do at the end of the day, they're, they enjoy being the leader and they want to be responsible to be the leader of the project. Every project has to have a leader, right? That's why we came up with this term project manager, right? They have to lead us and guide us. Um, I think some of their, probably their best traits need to be willing to collaborate with others, um, being a good coach, a mentor for your folks. Um, you're going to have folks at all different levels and some, depending on the firms that you're in and the size, these could, people could be from a lot of different areas. Um, let's take, for instance, right now, we're navigating in a Zoom world, which we weren't before. So are you willing to take the time and coach people from afar and spend that time? I know you're busy. I got it. That's part of the territory. But are you willing to be able to do those things? Um, you got to take accountability. Uh, I don't mean just for yourself, but you got to hold others accountability, accountable. You got to be comfortable with that. And I think accountability in our industry is another one of those negative terms because most people really don't know how to do it effectively. And it just sounds like a punitive way. And I try to tell folks, you know, some of the best product managers that I've seen use that as a learning tool versus as a heavy stick. Um, we didn't do what we needed to do. Let's figure it out why. And let's try not to do that in the future. Is much different. Why did you do that, right? Um, these folks have great communication skills. They've learned to work for the clients and, and think about clients in a different way. Clients are people too. And without them, we don't have any work. So they're not just something that we deliver to, right? We got to look at them in a much different, different way um, and help them in any capacity that we can. That's another responsibility that we have. And just, we have a responsibility that they understand the business aspects. They're not afraid to go and ask a client for money when they're past due. They're, you know, they're good at getting their invoices out on time. They understand the business elements. Um, those people have got it together as a project manager in my mind. Um, they, they know how to run the process. They're technical enough to understand that we're delivering what we need to, and it's met with quality and they work through their team to get things done and they care about, they're passionate about what they're, what they're doing and they want a good result at the end of the day. And they wanna celebrate those wins with their team. Those are some of the best PMs that I've worked with. And I've, I've, had, a, I've had an opportunity to work with a lot and I'm very fortunate in that way. All right, so there you have it. The best project managers communicate effectively. They understand the business side of projects. And most importantly, they hold people accountable. I hope you enjoyed this week's engineering management lessons video. We put out videos like this weekly to help engineering professionals become better managers and leaders. So please subscribe here to keep up to date and to keep growing your career as an engineer. I'll see you next week.